along with the powerful calls for diplomatic consequences, an end to intelligence sharing, and a public inquiry my colleague just mentioned. We at NCCM are calling for four additional actions. One, the immediate recalling of Canada's ambassador to India. Two, an initiation of the process of expulsion of the Indian ambassador to Canada, High Commissioner Sri Sanjay Kumar Verma. Three, a formal freeze on trade negotiations between India and Canada, including but not limited to the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, or SEPA. And four, together with the WSO, we today call for the immediate banning of the RSS under the listing provisions in the criminal code and the removal of its agents from Canada. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Bonjour à tous. Hi, everyone. Um, first and foremost, I would like to extend my condolences to the family and loved ones of Hardeep Singh Nijar. The allegations uh, that a representative of a foreign government may have been involved in the killing of a Canadian citizen here in Canada on Canadian soil is not only troubling, but it is completely unacceptable. If proven true, this would be a grave violation of our sovereignty and of the most basic rule of how countries deal with each other. We've been clear, we will not tolerate any form of foreign interference. Since this was brought to our attention, we've been guided by three principles. The first one, we will seek the truth. The second one, we will protect Canadians at all times. And thirdly, we will protect Canada's sovereignty. I've conveyed these principles to my Indian counterparts and I've also told him that we expect India's full collaboration to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And as of today, and as a consequence, we've expelled a top Indian diplomat from Canada. Tonight, the allegation and expelled a Canadian diplomat. What's your reaction to that? And how confident are you in our intelligence uh, with this denial? As I've said, um, India and the government of India needs to take this matter with the utmost seriousness. We are doing that. We are not uh, looking to um, provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them and uh, we want to work with the government of India uh, to lay everything clear and to ensure uh, that there is proper process. One of, one of the things that is so important today uh, is that India and the government of India take seriously uh, this matter. Uh, it is extremely serious and it has uh, far-reaching consequences in international law and otherwise. For Canada, as I said yesterday, we're going to remain calm, we're going to remain grounded in our democratic principles and values, and we're going to follow the evidence and make sure uh, that the work is done to hold people Why to account.